Hello, bienvenidos. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever, whatever it is to you. Hey, welcome to the Exploring Yogini. I am Jenna, and today I want to share the biggest lesson that I have experienced as a yoga teacher. Go ahead, hit subscribe below. It's just a little plus sign. Hit the bell. I'm gonna share my journey with you so that you can learn from my mistakes and also the things that I did really well. When I graduated, I knew that I wasn't going to be embarking on the typical yoga teacher journey. I didn't want to teach at a yoga studio week after week, and I definitely did not want to commit to opening up a yoga studio. So I knew I wanted to travel and I knew I wanted to do yoga, but I didn't quite understand how I was gonna make that happen. And because of that, because of my inability to relate to the yoga teachers that were near me in that way, I decided to do a lot of this on my own. I literally, I just taught. If somebody told me of an opportunity, I would go for it. And I definitely, I did get jobs teaching because of people I did my teacher training with um, through friends who knew I was interested in yoga. So that was really great. And if you have somebody in your life who is referring jobs to you, say hell yes, take them. This yoga teaching business, it's all about who you know. So always, always, always do your best to take those opportunities because if you keep taking them, they're gonna keep giving them to you. And then after time, after you have more experience, you're more comfortable and you feel good as a yoga teacher and you know what your purpose is, then you can start to say no to my yoga community within the last six months I've seen it expand so greatly and how 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 has it grown it's by going out of my way and creating relationships with people and I'm essentially putting myself into the same room into the same room as people that I want to be like I'm learning from the best because I'm choosing to be with the best and sometimes that means, actually a lot of times, that means I have to spend the money. And that is a-okay, I'm investing in myself and I've come to terms with the fact that in order to grow as a yoga teacher, I do need to invest. That dream that I had two years ago when I graduated from my yoga teacher training, it's coming true. Increase your community by attending teacher trainings go on yoga retreats join yoga teacher and yoga facebook groups the amount of feedback that you can get from people the friendships that you can create the inspiration that you can drive for marketing and for content creation like it's huge introduce yourself to the person next to you sitting down on their mat Go out of your way so that your yoga teacher knows who you are. Make a conversation with them. So make that first move, that extra effort to become friends with the other people in your community. Go to workshops on the weekends in topics that interest you. Knowledge is power and that's the only thing that can't be taken away from you. I implore you, when you're on this journey and you're not quite sure what to do, especially as a new yoga teacher, Go to teacher trainings, go to weekend workshops, um, be involved in Facebook groups, just do anything that you can do to be in the same room, whether virtually or literally physically as the people that you want to be like. This community, you're gonna learn from each other, you're gonna learn from them, and they're gonna learn from you, and then you're also gonna be each other's cheerleaders. You're gonna become friends. And what is more beautiful than that, than having friends who have similar values and um, who have similar interests like that's incredible honestly the opportunities are infinite your yoga group is out there either you need to join it or you need to create it thank you for joining me today thank you so much for being here I'm so appreciative go ahead hit subscribe below it's just a little plus sign hit the bell and I'll see you guys again thank you Namaste.